Now, the dog, the dog was sort of a surprise because I wasn't sure can actually pull it off because of the original manga was sort of kind of crazy. Also, was a surprise hit because the ideas it have is just insane. In fact, I don't think no one attempted to really smash uh, supernatural and sci-fi together. I've seen it before, but I've never seen it hit this hard. Even that how they both can both ideas so well it seamlessly it almost seems like a dream because it is almost impossible to make it sense and complicate and complement each other in the same time but it does especially the first episode of dub the dope before i break it down my name is rachel i like to talk about animation not just animation to reviews first impressions cartoon theories and sometimes if i have some spare time Cartoon breaking news. Of course, you like how it's going, like to help my channel, pull a like, comment, and subscribe. That's the only thing you need to do. If not, that's fine. If you do, thank you because of you, I am getting close to my main goal of 2,000 subscribers. And yes, I get close every single day because the people pull like, comment, and share. Thank you. Now, let's get started off the first episode of Dub the Dub. Now, Dan 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 was sort of interesting because the two ideas is basically two characters meeting each other. One is sort of kind of protected the other one because he was sort of bullied and she sort of become semi friends but he also has some issues because she kind of broke her boyfriend and she started talking with the guy but he, she doesn't want to deal with anything he's BS and start walking till the other one says wait I know why you talk to me you like me and she says look I don't want any nerdy things about you I just wanted to help out and that's it and I'll stop the bullying you and I just walking away but the conversation getting more interesting because he was sort of assessed with a uh, UFOs he tried to explain oh this is the reason when you hang out with me you want to talk about UFOs and she says no actually I'm more interested of the supernatural because supernatural does exist even that bragging her grandma is a medium who can actually help other people deal with their spiritual problems. But the only problem is this her new friend doesn't believe of ghosts or supernatural. And her does not believe her new friend that UFOs are real. This is the issue she probably brings down. That both chance themselves to go with a abandoned building and abandoned cave to face a ghost and an alien. And they both agree and left. The challenge is to not run away and meet their fears. Whoever fails become the gopher, the go getter. Get this because this, because the other one wins, and that is the punishment of the loser. But the weird part is both of them were right, but both of them get the other thing. One who believe in ghosts meet the aliens, and the one who believe the alien meet the ghost. Now both of them are completely screwed. One one possess the other one to sexualize, sexualize the child and the other one, the aliens, wants to impregnate the girl to get birth so they could take the child with them. And now they both screwed. And this is the twist that it grabs you. It's the fact the boy get possessed by figure out or sort of accidentally figure out to use the ghost possession to help him to help her new friend who is sort of stuck in the position to stop the aliens, to sort of pregnant her, to take the child, and stop the sort of probing now words. But during this time, he only go actually help halfway, and his body sort of give out, till her friend activates her second abilities to actually stop the other one to pregnant her and help his friend who is possessed. Now both of them are free and completely screwed. Don't know what to do, into trying to figure out the situation, specifically how the girl figuring out she has a supernatural abilities and the boy is now possessed by a ghost. But the only way to get the ghost is the fact it's sort of go back to the cave and go one on one with the spiritual creature who possessed them and cursed them. Now they're stuck together because the other one to help the other one, but at the same time, they both very lonely and also wants a friend 
that way you make it so weird. It sounds almost impossible actually could work. It's just so odd and out there, but it does because it's a reverse expectation. Every time you think, oh, the girl being uh, being uh, used by the aliens, the guy were trying to help her. In a way, no and yes, and vice versa. You think the girl would escape, he helped the guy. Yes and no. It just sort of things happen by accident. And does it in a way is actually kind of brilliant because both characters are useful and both characters need each other to help their problem. One to figure out how to use her abilities, the other one to help her abilities to use him to control his possession and his curse. But at the same time, the other one doesn't want to use the other one uh, because they can help them. They don't want to burden them. And that's the interesting part. They do want to be burdened because the only friend they actually have. And that's just very interesting. And so out there, but how it does so well, interesting, and you just, your mouth just drops. And that's what I mean. It's just so bizarre, but it works. Especially understand that backstory, the reason why they do insert things, the reason why the guy says with UFOs, he also what the girl says with supernatural. Because the girl is says with supernatural is because it sort of connects to his grandmother, but the only problem is she's ashamed of it because people make fun of her because she's sort of practicing to use her spiritual energy, but she looks ridiculous and this is why she's sort of embarrassed, but yet she doesn't want to. She's sort of a double-edged sword, doesn't know how to deal with it. And in reverse, the guy who assists with UFOs wants a UFO to capture him to make a friend, but it's the only way to feel someone actually notice him. And that's why it's so well connected. Everything here has layer of a layer of a layer complement each other. I have no idea this was on purpose or by accident, but it just works so well. It sounds so absurd. It feels insane, and but yet it's just amazing. On top of all this, the art was incredible. The animation just blew my mind. It complemented the absurdity of the situation of the characters. This for the first episode. We don't know they continue on the same idea. They can actually make it make it more sense or for a part. We about to find out of the future other episodes. In fact. Do you like this kind of episode? Do you hate it? You feel they did a justice the original manga? Tell me down below. Let me know. Honestly, I can't say much because it's just sort of crazy. It's just the setup. That's the same part. But they deliver it amazing. The voice actors were great. The animation, the story, everything clicked hard. I can't say much. This is just the first episode. Tell me down below how you felt. You like it. You hate it. Tell me down below. Let me know. I got nothing else to say. Just thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And have a wonderful day. Bye.